Yo, what's up guys? Joker here bringing you another video for the Once Human Season 2 with kind of probably a controversial video, but it's going to be my opinions on Once Human Season 2. And at this point, we are four weeks into the second season, right? We just started the Stardust Roar, and the Manny Bus event here is starting next week. Well, I guess in eight days, right? And I just wanted to go ahead and go over my opinions of season two overall so far, uh, just because... All in all, I have been actually incredibly underwhelmed. Um, I've stated this before, but I am a seasonal player. I play seasonal games for a large variety of games. And the reason why I enjoy seasonal game modes is the variety of content that they usually bring. There's usually a large amount of variety between seasonal content and a standard version of the game, right? If you look at anything like Last Epoch, um, uh, old School RuneScape, Path of Exile, Torchlight, right? Any of these games, they have a standard variant and then they have a seasonal variant. And the main thing that you get with the seasons is you get a bunch of new items, you get a bunch of modifiers, you usually get interesting new game modes and content. And we haven't got any of that. It may be because I guess maybe I made a mistake. I just went and I clicked a normal server from the easy server or whatever it was before. Maybe if I would have went to a hard server, I would have felt a difference. But I've seen some people play on the hard servers and it doesn't look any different, right? It seems like all that happened is... They literally just reset our characters and our progress. And that's not how seasonal game modes are supposed to go, right? Um, that is a part of it, but the bigger part is all the additional stuff you get, right? The buffs, the additional modifiers, the new items, the new content. And I've gathered a couple of examples to show you as well. But I just wanted to go over this because it makes me a little bit concerned for the future of Once Human if this is all they're going to do, right? Um, all they did was reset the progress and reset the map. Like, that's literally it. They they didn't do anything else. Um, I went ahead and I played around with the animals a little bit, and I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong or, or what, but they just seem to not be good. I don't know what's up with them. It takes way too long for you to actually tame them. Uh, and I have, when I had them out, they kept glitching out of their cages. One, actually more than one of my animals just randomly died somehow while I was off doing other stuff. No idea how that happened. They had plenty of food. They had plenty of water. They're in cages. No, nothing can jump this two by two, right? So like no, none of the creatures I've encountered can jump this high. So there's no way that like a wild animal got them and they're the higher level creatures. So even in this level 20 zone, if a level 20 wolf started attacking a level 30, 40 boar, the level 30, 40 boar would win, right? So I don't know what happens there. I gave up on the taming system. Initially, I thought it was going to be pretty cool, but it was like, like a wet fart, right? Like it was really cool, but they just, they eat too many resources. You get it way too far down in the memetics tree for it to actually even be impactful. Um, by the point that you're unlocking the animal taming and the animal capturing, you already have like 
everything else invested in better resources on top of the fact that you need to have a full garden up and going to sustain even one animal, let alone multiple. And then you're capped at six, which doesn't make sense because in the trailer you saw like dozens but whatever i'm gonna move away from that and go over to like some of my examples right so overall the season's kind of been depressing um there there isn't anything new it's literally they just reset my character but i'm, I'm not gonna harp on that so Right here, I went ahead and I wanted to pull up, see what the response to season two was, right? Um, I, I wanted to go ahead and see, like, what is the response? Like, is this just a me thing? Uh, and it turns out that uh, apparently they have been getting a lot of, I guess, demoralizing feedback um, which kind of makes sense because like I mentioned, they didn't really do anything. All they did is reset the servers. Uh, if the difficulty increased once again, um, it may be different in the hard servers, but I feel, I felt no difficulty increase from the easy or whatever server we were on before to the normal server now um there was like no difficulty spike like if anything it was easier because i was able to go over with all my overpowered blueprints right so there really it, it was like a cakewalk to get through leveling and everything like there i had no trouble with anything there was no challenge there was no new content so I can understand where some of the demoralizing feedback is coming from. Uh, I'm a believer that criticism should always be constructive. But in a situation like this, I, I feel like they may have just dropped the ball. Um, and this may change going into season three here in a couple of weeks, right? But going into season two, since there was no change i can't really give that much constructive criticism apart from they need to add stuff right that's the entirety of the point of a seasonal game mode if we go ahead and take a look at something like old school runescape it has temporary leagues and what they do in their leagues is there's a whole bunch of different tasks that you can do to help earn points it's not the same exact things which pretty much is what we have right now our season journey is pretty much identical to what it was last season so there's literally no difference there but on top of that every time that you complete a set of tasks you unlock rewards or you unlock relic slots which give you additional benefits right whether it be higher drop rates or more experience or higher resource gathering right stuff like that kind of a motivator to make you want to do the season journey and every season has had essentially a gimmick right there was gimmicks where you were locked to a certain part of the world there was relics that gave you additional powers right and stuff like that if we go ahead and take a look at last epoch its season added monsters with additional modifiers that gave additional loot we kind of have that but not really we have a couple kind a uh, 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 few variations of monsters in the world but they really don't do anything and they aren't rewarding if anything they're just harder for the sake of being harder and that's not a good mechanic like when you kill them you're not really rewarded with anything and since you have to go out of your way to use a, a specialized weapon to actually kill them it's kind of stupid that they're not rewarding so that's something else that i feel like they just completely missed the ball on um where they added these additional creatures but they don't actually really have any benefit they're just difficulty for adding the sake of difficulty uh in this case the different types of monsters had different abilities and they would also draw boosted loot right 
if we go ahead and take a look at something like Torchlight. Torchlight, in their seasons, they not only add a league mechanic, so a special type of event in-game with a theme every league that's usually super fucking cool and rewarding they add an additional playable character right and it expands on the core of the game neither of those we got this season we didn't get a cool league mechanic and we didn't get anything new so they just dropped the ball there that's what i meant to say before not miss the ball but they dropped the ball there as well where they really didn't add any new content um so i don't know how it's supposed to be a seasonal game mode except for in name once again we can use a, another a, a seasonal game mode uh path of exile they are like overachievers um in the seasonal game mode scene because they integrate entire different types of games into their game every season right where things like sanctum this is literally a roguelite that they added into path of exile um and then we have things like heist which is like a uh thieving mini game where you break into houses you break into laboratories and you steal valuable artifacts right then you have things like Blight, which is literally a tower defense game inside of the other game, right? Uh, and this is what I was mentioning, right? Let's go back to Necropolis, um, where every season they give us a bunch of new items and on top of the seasonal mechanic and the balance changes that they do. Um, but once human, once again, didn't they they didn't do any of this right like for this season journey the the phase is like exactly the same I, i'm pretty sure this almost reads verbatim exactly like what it read last time i'm um, maybe something will be different once we get to the manny bus event um uh, but there's literally no changes the seasonal goals are formatted the exact same way with the exact same rewards um we went ahead and didn't get any new deviants not that i i, I didn't notice if we did get any new deviants um we may have actually i don't remember seeing the atomic snail or the orbital lightning but they may have been just deviants that i didn't see previously right and then we have this season tag, which is the modified monsters that I was mentioning, but they're just harder for the sake of being harder. So it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, right? The, the current state of once human just doesn't make sense. It's just them resetting your progress for no reason and they're increasing the world difficulty but you're carrying over all of your items uh, essentially through your blueprints right so you have kind of end game items that you're able to use where majority of my gear is at four stars right so it's pretty much top tier gear i have 12.3k health and um, half my gear isn't even, it's not even fully calibrated, right? So I have felt no difficulty. I can go into a level 50 zone and really not take damage. So there's not really any stakes. It's just making me repeat stuff for the sake of making me repeat stuff and i don't think that's a good seasonal game model so hopefully manny bus changes some stuff hopefully season three changes some stuff but as of right now once humans kind of eh, um if i don't see changes going into season three I'm probably not going to play season three because like there's only so many times you can do the same exact thing with zero variation and it be entertaining, right?
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry about this, Ryan. I just wanted to talk about it to draw some attention because I was super, super positive about Once Human in season one and leading up to season two, like that entire time, right? I was super positive about the game. But if this is what they're going to do, I can't really stand behind that decision. Like... I can see players being retained for maybe this season, but if nothing changes going into season three, I don't know how many players are actually going to come back for season three. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with this and future con uh, and future content. Um, if you feel any different, leave it down in the comments. Tell me your opinions. But until next time, take care.